Occasionally, you need to look up stuff that isn't an exact match. So VLOOKUP is great if you know exactly the name. So here we've got a whole bunch of product names and this is the what they're also known as. The problem with VLOOKUP is if I look for this one, so let's do a quick VLOOKUP. We're going to say look up that value in this table array and we're going to pull back the selling price of so column 2 and we're going to say false you'll see we get an NA error and that's because this product that's a shortened name of this product here so we somehow need to be able to tell Excel that we're looking for wherever that's kind of one of the names and you can use VLOOKUP to find partial matches in order to do this, we need to make use of the wildcard characters. If you're not aware of the, what these are, the multiplication sign and the question mark can be used in certain formulas to tell Excel, in the case of the multiplication sign, that you're not sure how many characters or what they are, but there are characters either before and after an item. And the question mark is it's exactly one character, but you don't know what it is. So for example, we're going to build our VLOOKUP and what we're going to say is we want to look up this word. So we'll click on that. However, we'd like to put a multiplication sign before it and after it. And the way we can do that is we can use our concatenate. So either use the full concatenate or I'm just going to, in inverted commas, put the multiplication sign and use the ampersand which acts like a concatenate so you can see there it's now looking at star lotrin and at the end put an ampersand and the multiplication side so what we're now telling Excel is we're looking for multiplication sign this word multiplication sign Excel is going to read it as somewhere in the cell is the word lotrin there can be any number of characters before it or any number after it. Now when I go to the table array, I highlight it. Column index number. For this one we're not going to pull the selling price, I'm actually going to pull column 1 because what I want to see is what full name is being matched to this partial name. In the range lookup here, I'm going to use a false and when I say OK, you'll see it's gone and for this, it's found a match over here, which means that that word is somewhere in that cell. If we copy it down, you'll see that in all cases, it seems to have found a match. You will notice, however, you have to be careful. As you can see here, we've got two items here, and this word is part of that word. VLOOKUP, by default, always finds the first one. So this is something we're going to have to address at some point. But for now, at least you can see how good the match is. And in this case, you can see that this word re space find is not available anywhere. Let's now pull through the selling price. So it's pretty much the same steps. We're going to look for the VLOOKUP. Again, I'm looking for that item over there. But before it, I want to say, put the star in, ampersand, after it, ampersand, star. Where must it look? So we're looking at the same place, and I put my dollar signs on. This time I want column index number 2. And for the range lookup, I'm just going to put false. And it pulls through our number. Because this is a partial match, you just have to be a little bit careful. As we've already seen, we've got an NA error here. And there might be one or two cases where you're looking for something that's actually part of more than one area. So this is generally just to speed up your work. So just to show you here, here we've got string. And if you look, there's one here. And there's one here. So you're still going to probably have to just look through these and just clean up certain things and in the sum if section we'll show you how you can check whether this problem exists automatically 
and then you'll might have some NAs and that's because we're looking up re space find and if you look in the underlying list you'll see it's re no space find so although the partial lookup is good it's not going to be exactly perfect and there might be some that you have to manually look up however it should be a lot quicker because there'll be some items that are obviously a match and you can rely on them immediately and what we'd normally do is put on our filter and then work through the ones that we are problems and overwrite them with what we actually know the answer to be